Hello guys, welcome to chapter 4 on deep layer package by R programming tips. In this particular chapter, we will talk about mutate and transmute functions. Before we start, we just have a request. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel, hit like and share this video with your friends. So let's begin. First, we need to install this package. I have already installed this package. Next, we have to load this package. So you know that installation needs to be done just once. But whenever you reopen your R, you need to load the particular package. So I'm going to load deep layer package here. And I'm also going to load my data set. And I have named this data set as college. So let's see what's there in this data set. You can see that we have first two columns which are categorical variable. And rest of the columns are numeric variables or integer variables okay so the mutate function is used when you want to create new variables from the existing variables or the new variables are the functions of your existing variables of the data set so honestly speaking you will require in your job you will require to create new variables which are the function of existing variables uh, and it's not just that you separate your data set by columns or by rows like we have talked about uh, select function and we have already talked about filter function which helps us to separate data from uh, you know subset of data take subset of the data from uh, from rows perspective now mutate function is very similar to select function mutate function has got the same syntax as select or your filter function so again you say mutate you give your data set name and then the new variable which you want to create give the name of that variable and give the function of that how so in my case i'm creating a new enroll wherein it's 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 a division of enroll by 10 okay so and i'm creating another variable wherein i'm saying not accepted so total number of applications which were given and how many were uh, accepted out of it the difference is not accepted applications so let's run this command and let's view so the new variables whenever they are created they go into the end of the table so you can see i have got new enroll variable here which is uh, which is nothing but just the division by 10 of the enroll variable and I have got not accepted which is nothing but the subtraction of accepted and total applications so total applications were 1660 accepted applications were 1372 and the difference is 428 which are the applications which were not selected okay now let's say in case you are only interested in the way new variables which you have created and you don't want uh, every other variable which is which was present in your data set in that case instead of using mutate we encourage you to use transmute function again the syntax is very simple you have to say transmute provide your data set name and exactly like the previous one like mutate I'm giving the statements here okay so let's run this and let's view the new data set so you can see in my new data set I only have new variables I don't have any other variable like college names applications PhD transmit books etc I only have these two new variables which I created using transmute function okay uh, I also wanted to give you an example of using mutate function with if underscore else function we will talk about this function in my next chapter that is chapter number five however in this video I just wanted to show that how to use if else function so you can see that I am using mutate function and I am looking at the college variable and I am creating new enroll and I am saying if underscore else PhD score is less than equal to 75 then you should say below average else you should say above average and not accepted is the same variable which I am creating that is applications minus accepted applications. So let's run this and let's view the college data set and here you can see that I have created a new variable uh, wherein new enroll wherein wherever the score of enroll uh, sorry wherever the score of PhD was less than 75 we said below average and otherwise we said above average and not accepted is the same uh, which we had in our previous data set. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and happy learning guys.